Haven't done a silver video in a while, so I figured got a little downtime. So, uh, there's a few of my latest um, pickups. I actually got these a while ago, but uh, I'm just now making a video. I got another Eagle. I got, I believe this is the new one. I hope it is. The new Starving Liberty uh, Zombuck. Sorry for the filthy hands. I've been doing a lot of work with my knives. But, uh, there's the Starving Liberty. I also picked myself up one of the two ounce silver bullets. This is the 308. It doesn't actually label 308, but that's the, the size of it. It's pretty cool, actually. Um, here's a few of my newest uh, knives that I made. Uh, still, a few of these are still from my first batch. I cut them all out, like, right away. Then I ended up uh, finishing them later, actually. But this is like a... 10 inch kitchen knife that I tried making. It was a lot of work. Uh, really thick blade. But uh, it's sharp. And it rocks really well. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I'll do many more of these because it's just a lot of equipment went into that. I think I used about four belts on my belt sander just doing the grind on the blade. But it uh, looks, looks pretty decent. And this one, it's one of my favorites to date. Uh, this is a pretty big knife. It's about nine inches total. And let's see if I can do this without putting the camera down. My tripod's out in the garage, so. Okay. This is my, one of my latest. And it's got green g10 liners in there let's see if we can focus all right let's try this my camera doesn't want to work right now there we go green g10 liners and black uh black micarta and uh yeah i really like this knife um getting the fit down pretty good this they're starting to get really comfortable in the hands this is a big knife this is like this would be a, like a camping knife, uh, trail knife type deal. But um, I like this design so much that I actually am finishing up today a smaller version of it. Pretty much the same thing, except this is paper my black micarta. I'm using canvas micarta on the other one. Let's put that back in there. And it's actually looks a little rough, but I'm putting coats of polyurethane on it right now to give it a little shine. But it's an 8-inch version of that same one. This one I put a stainless uh, lanyard tube in there. For if you want a lanyard on there, I'm going to make some paracord lanyard for it. This also has the green G10 liner in it. And it looks like I'll be putting a couple coats on there. But yeah. Uh, I'm getting a lot better at this. And as soon as I perfect it, I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to make up a Facebook page and a Twitter and possibly a web page and sell a few. I don't think I want to take orders, but I think I'm going to just make four, five, six knives, put them up on the website and. Just leave them there until they all sell. Um, I have a lot of a lot of work into these, and granted, they're not perfect yet, but still, most people sell their knives for outrageous prices. I can't even imagine getting that for my knives, so I'm literally gonna start pretty cheap. Uh, but until then, I'll be still making knives and still slowly stacking silver. Still trying to pay off that debt, but it's getting a lot better. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.